That, the last time for season four. Last time. But yeah. are we even calling them seasons anymore? No. no. Yeah, how that. does everyone feel that about happens. us just going to numbers? I feel like it's less confusing. Yeah. Then you just go episode number 135. Blah, blah, blah. And as we sit here and move into pre production mode, I think it's important to share what mm-hmm. we've been talking about. So, what some of our listeners and viewers might not know, which, by the way, if you're listening, also check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash hi, my name is mom. And you can get our podcast anywhere you get your podcasts on socials. We're hi, my name is mom official. Make sure you're following us on socials because we will be doing more on socials oh, yeah. once we go into a hiatus. So we're going to take a little break after this. And a little bit of the backstory is that we go into every season with an idea of what we want to talk about. Mm -hmm. But inevitably, things change. Life happens. Life happens. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And life majorly happened during this block of episodes. We have three or four episodes with guests, um, some things we have planned to talk about. Mm -hmm. And we have just gotten to capacity (laughs) in terms of our life outside of this podcast, yeah. our personal lives, and we've had so much thrown at us that was unexpected. Yeah. Kayla shared her major, like, life-shaking experience. Um, at the same time, starting, like, you started a company. I started a company. Now it's growing. Yeah. I, she told oops. me today she's going to start another one. I was like, hey, simmer down there, Blondie. I did. <laughs> I did. Well, I think, and then the last time I met with you, remember, it was a different company. It was. There's I was like, the name. There's, like, three, mm-hmm. like, you other. You would if you weren't. Nope. You know. Yeah. But we, we've thought a, a lot about revisiting the Covenant shooting. And I will say one thing about that, yeah. because we want to talk about this more. Um, but one thing I think I'm really proud of with us is, as we've said many times, we come from very different political viewpoints but there are some things that we align on so hard Mm -hmm. and so anyone listening who has gone through that mental strain of having people that you disagree with on really important topics that are very near and dear to you I would challenge you to dig into the nuance behind the idea right like intent and well and not only that but like what is it actually what does what you think should happen or or might Mm -hmm. be a good idea what does that look like yep. in real life? And that, What's the real implementation behind that? Yeah. That's where um, you get tripped up a lot. And we have found distinct areas that we can agree. And I think you guys are probably yeah. okay with me saying that we, yeah. the three of us agree that there should be change um, with gun reform, mm-hmm. with security in schools, and then with with mental health support, suicide prevention. Mm -hmm. So across all of that, a layered approach. And we agree on a lot of ways and change that should be made in each of those categories. So anyway, I think it's a, I think it's a pretty remarkable thing that we've been able, I'm, I'm, I love you guys for listening to what I have to say Mm -hmm. and vice versa. I I just think I'm proud of us for having those hard conversations. They've been some really hard conversations and we will talk about this more, but truthfully, I'm still processing a lot. I didn't really share on the podcast that almost exactly a month after the Nashville shooting happened, there was a shooting in Atlanta and my dad was on lockdown, his office and his home, um, which just, it, it just like hit me really hard again. You know, I had some personal stuff go on during this season that, you know, definitely shook my world a little yeah. bit. And you got a big award. <laughs> Corey's one of the top voiceover artists like on radio. Aww. And so professionally, you've had a really busy year. Yeah, it's been kind of crazy. I randomly put a song out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you really it's also song? nice to have anyone recognize that. Like oh, that professionally, cool. do you that know what cool. I mean? It's yeah. just a nice, oh, your yeah. friends recognize it. Your family yeah. recognizes it. Yeah. Some of your fans recognize it. But it's like to have other people like colleagues and whatnot yeah. recognize you as really And Jen, cool. I feel like you've had probably one of the busiest professional years that you've had since having Evie. Mm-hmm. And... On it's going to get busier come August when Evie goes to kindergarten. Yeah, and I've on already top of taken just, on some new stuff, but I, it's, yeah. Your kids are in a busier season, They too. are in a busy season. So, yeah. And you've had heavy stuff go on yeah. um, with Charlie's yeah. diagnosis. Um, yeah. We've just had a lot going on. And a then lot we, of life. Yeah. And then we've been feeling like, well, we should do this, and we should. We've done more episodes this block than we've ever done. Yeah, should, but we have keep going, to. we should, we should talk yeah. about this, we should talk about this. And then we had the episode on mom guilt where Elizabeth Porter told Love us her. that we should never should. Love her. Yeah. 
And she was like, you don't have yeah. to. Yeah. Right. So and we're like, we're tired. We're, we're taking a break. Yeah. We're taking we're a break. We're having a summer break. And that doesn't mean we're not so grateful. Oh my gosh, we've yeah. seen this mom community grow. We've had so many of you like reach out to us. People that are starting at the beginning, yep. which is so fun. Oh my gosh, I started <laughs> listening to us at the beginning. It's so funny, like how, we, I was just telling you this today, I think that how we chatted behind the mic in the beginning compared <laughs> to now, we've definitely it's grown. Cute. And yeah, it's cute. That's, it's, that's cute. A good one. it's cute. <laughs> But all that to say, we're not going to take any of the shoulds on. Mm -mm. Instead, we're going to talk about the way we're going to let go of stress. Not that not that stress doesn't come with vacation, but we're getting ready to go. Stress does come with vacation. (laughs) We're going into summer vacation, so we're going to talk about what we want to do, favorite vacations we've taken, Mm -hmm. vacations we'd recommend. um, You know, maybe a few tips for vacationing as families. And maybe some bucket lists. But you stuff. know what people yeah. probably don't even know? I mean, you sort of touched on this, but it's like even during summer or those small windows where we've had a little hiatus, like Christmas to January. We've always. We are still in pre-production. We're still killing it, you know, on social content. And it is so much. So we're still going to be putting out a lot of social stuff. But we are definitely taking a break. We're taking a real break. It's probably like two, do you think two months. We're going to take two months. Yeah. 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 Do you want to talk about scared. vacations? I'm so tired. Yes. You know, right? Vacations? Uh-huh. I love vacations. This is Hi, My Name is Mom, a podcast about motherhood. Here are your hosts, Jen, Corey, and Kayla. What are you going to do this summer? Are you guys doing family vacations? We're going to Hawaii. Oh, oh right. That's right. Yeah, we're going to Hawaii. I'm excited. I have been in physical therapy for the past several months because there is this private beach that we go to like every time we're in Hawaii and it's a hike to get there and it's it's work yeah. and I am a little nervous because I don't know if my ankle will be is ready yeah. up for it and but what's funny is so we went to Hawaii 2 years ago and the last time we went um I'm going to sneeze. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at the light. I know. While she's sneezing, I'm going to say we just came from the ABC affiliate here in Nashville, and the stairs from the studio to the green room were insane. And you did a great you job. You did amazing. All upper body yeah. strength. Uh-oh. Sorry. It's Look Nashville. No, my allergies are so bad. Do you hear that sneeze is like sitting at the bottom of oh, my yeah. side? I'm afraid a lot of snot's going to come out. Oh, it know. sounds like Look a bad that one. Way. It looked that way. Put <laughs> your head that way. Oh, my gosh. My oh. eyes are like, um. But yeah, so last time we were in Hawaii two years ago, on this same trail, I sprained my bad ankle because you guys know how much I used to sprain it all the time. Mm. And John had to carry me back. And then he pushed me in a wheelchair the entire airport ride home. <laughs> but they put us in first class hey, because I was in a wheelchair. So I'm like, can we get I that wheelchair it. again? Yeah. <laughs> but we're excited to go. Be fun. And we're excited to carve out that space. Every time we go to Florida, it's a work trip because mm-hmm. we both work remote and or we're working on the house or it's something. So... Florida is fantastic, but that's never really like a doesn't feel like vacation. a vacation. Yeah. When you go down, let me know. Maybe we'll like pop down for a day or two. To Florida? Yeah. We need to go. Yeah. It'd be fun. Do you have any tips now that you've done a lot of traveling with Loxley? Because I feel like both of you guys are great on yeah. road trips or or whether that's mm. I feel like a big thing I'm learning as a parent and especially as there have been more kids involved, yeah. is that I have to plan ahead and I'm terrible at planning ahead. If you have a baby, I, hands down, I know you'll agree with me on this, is get the Duna. It is, like, whatever you buy it for, you can resell it after your trip if you don't want to keep it forever. It is the easiest. I'm kind of sad that we don't have it um, for this trip because Loxley's three now and she's outgrown it. But we we are taking uh, our Thule stroller. And yeah. we're excited about that because that's you pretty know, rugged. You awesome. know, there's there's also like baby equipment rental services in every city, so, so you can we're just renting rent a gear. we're renting a car seat in Hawaii mm, um, instead of flying with it. That's yeah. a great tip that yeah. I didn't know until my sister told me about yeah. it. There's like yeah. babies away, and what's baby the other quip. baby quip? Baby quip is fantastic, and I actually found um, because when you are renting for baby stuff, we rented a pack and play last year mm-hmm. yeah. or two years ago, and that was fantastic. But then when they become toddlers, you can't really put a three-year-old in a pack and play, or at least we don't. Yeah. And so I've learned that it's actually harder to travel with toddlers, like when you're just all yeah, in the room, unless hard. you put them in your bed. And then if we they're not used to We still put our five-year-old in pack and play when we travel, because it's the easiest way to give her her own space 
where she's next to us, but I get why people don't want so to do it. So we just found the Hiccupop a blow up toddler mattress and we absolutely love it because it has the bumpers on the side and it compresses down to like an eight by eight block cool. size. And so if you are traveling okay. with toddlers. You know, the other yeah. thing we did when we went to Breckenridge, we rented through Turo for the first time. Oh, I oh, love Turo. Cool. And if you look, you can actually filter it and do It's add-ons. like Airbnb for cars. It is like Airbnb mm. for cars. And you can also choose just like on Airbnb how they're super hosts. Same yeah. thing on Turo. Mm. So we were able to rent the exact vehicle we wanted to rent, and we were able to, you could add on car seats. We were able to add That's on a awesome. stroller, a Thule roof rack. Oh my God. And oh, I would seen. really recommend it. The woman I worked with was so nice, super communicative. She basically just told us where it was going to be parked, and then there was a code to get in the car. Wow. Um, so that's something that I had never really thought about yeah. doing. And we were so glad we had a stroller, even though we didn't think we would need one. Mm-hmm. So that's another thing that's, is that's renting That's my Ventura. biggest thing is strollers. I feel like on vacation, I take strollers no matter what. Because even Evie, who's newly five, will she'll tire out. Her legs yeah. are tiny. And so, yes, yeah. she'll need to be in a stroller. But yeah. if we want to be out or out late, she'll lay in the stroller and, like, go to sleep. You even know, just having them at the airport. Yeah, having so them nice. at the airport and honestly it. just to, like, carry your things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's, oh, yeah. It's so nice. Like, back. even if your oh, toddler yeah. wants to walk, to be able to, like carry their their bag because no matter where you are you your toddler will need a bag yeah right like they'll need something in it with like they won't want to carry it it's too heavy or, yeah it's too something. heavy yeah and so yeah. having that that you can put your coffee your mm-hmm. water it's like kind of a throw-all thing to to yep. push totally agree <laughs> and i so, still would never even go to green hills mall without my stroller <laughs> even if it's just me <laughs> oh, that's hilarious i'm like i'm taking the stroller in what's the vacation yeah. you've been on with loxley that has ticked the most boxes in terms of feeling like a vacation for you guys and also getting family time. Because that's a hard balance, I feel I like. I don't think we've, I honestly don't think we've experienced that yet. Yeah. I don't um, think it's a thing. I feel like when be. you have a vacation with kids, it's a trip. It's a change of venue. It's yeah. not a vacation. Like, you I, don't get to sit on the beach. Well, we have, we, we sit time. on the beach. I mean, I we're very fortunate with, with having a Florida location to go in and relax. Taking a parent. Yeah. Is Taking a parent really always helps. So, John and I really want to do, like, an abroad trip with mm-hmm. Loxley just yeah. because this sounds so random, but beaches aren't my favorite uh, vacation. That's not like something that I would choose to just go and relax on. I want to go. I want to go to Paris. Mm-hmm. I want to try great food. I want to go to Italy. I want to go to Africa. Like there's so many places that I would go that I would consider more of a vacation. Mm-hmm. I'm not a relaxed vacation person. Like that is not fun for me. Oh, see, I love the balance. I love relaxing <sighs> Then sightseeing, then going and getting good food. It's like all three, you know. Like I just need beach two of those time. Things. What do you love? I want to like not never stop seeing stuff and mm-hmm. eat. Yeah, you don't ever want to sit on a beach and just no. Be. See, I, I read. I am. This is my we thing. We should go on a vacation you should. together. I am a voracious reader. I probably read three books a month. Right. So oh, for wow. me, sit, I'm on book. I'm actually on book four. I don't know. It's month. been years since I've read a book. I just read nonstop. So my thing is I love – there's nothing I love more than either being in a bathtub or on a beach by the pool without kids to watch and my Kindle. I I love it. I could work on my relaxation skills. (laughs) Do you know what I I would like to do? I would like to do this in the next year is I've never been to Napa and I really want to go. I would like to take a girl's trip to Napa. I I would would love love that. that. Or even a couple's trip. Like husbands could go. That would be so fun. It's kind of lost on Ty because he doesn't drink wine. Neither does Adrian, but he loves Napa. Neither does John. The food is exceptional. So I guess a girl's trip it is. Yeah. Yeah. Boys can stay home with the kids. Yeah. There's a few trips that I do feel like there's been a balance, and it's because I've put the work in ahead of time. Mm, yeah. Um, You've had sitters or whatever at night Yeah, or so we went to Breckenridge this past season, and it was amazing. I did so much coordinating ahead of time to get the child care, and yeah. you have to book that stuff so far in advance. Mm-hmm. In fact, I think the snowboarding of it all is really what's made me start to really think ahead because yeah. people book those trips a solid year out like yeah. i'm probably late booking now for next like, year for next year <laughs> wow. yeah like they have these epic passes where you can pretty much go skiing or snowboarding on like any any mountain. any mountain included in that program yeah. and it's so much more That's affordable amazing. and you get all these buddy passes and stuff right. so those went on sale like a month or so ago and if you get those you're much more likely to pop around 
yeah. to a bunch of different locations. That's fun. But, and Ty got one last year, but I didn't get one in time. Oh. Um, Where they sell out? They only sell a certain number? They only sell it to a certain date. Oh, oh, oh. So they stopped Sorry, selling them, okay. like, in early December or something. Mm. But that trip, when we actually got there, mm-hmm. because of setting up the child care, they have awesome child care on the mountain. Where we could just drop our kids at the beginning of the day. The little ones did right. daycare, the and did then Radley school. did ski school. That's Bash that's did really some ski fun. school too. Ty and I did ski school. That's smart. Which was if you feel so like you're rusty fun. from season to season, like yeah, that's cool. Well, and I almost think Ty loved it as much or more as I did, even though he's a more advanced snowboarder. Because I'm just trying not to fall all the way down the mountain. Mm. And he feels like he picked up skills that maybe he was doing wrong all along. Like anyway, good technique. Yeah, like we actually extended our half day lesson into a full day. That's amazing. Um, and then our kids were at ski school, so we know they were having a great time. Um, and I love then to I, do that. Yeah. We should all go skiing we should, together. We should Because my favorite part go. is après ski. Well, so is mine. And then so hot tub. So oh it's my like gosh. Ski, skiing, because I'm a skier, I know you're a snowboard. Skiing, après ski, hot tub. Well, our friends hot tub time machine? Mm. Our friends that we were there with are way into the après ski too, and Ty would just stay on the mountain twenty four seven. So it was great because we would go to lunch and get burgers and drinks. Oh, fun! Um, and that was another cool thing too. Was the only other families I've really vacationed with are you guys in mm. our Destin trip yeah. last year, which we had like five families in one house, and then I've vacationed with my sister's family, and then we we just did this trip with our friends Jamie and Ariel. They have three kids as too. Kid, they have three kids as well, but they only brought two out of the three with them. <laughs> nice. And we all stayed in a relatively small condo together. And when we were doing that, I was thinking, there's not that many couples that we could do this with mm-hmm. because yeah. you have to be on the same page about what you want to spend, what kind of place you want to get. Yep. Yeah. And then when you put a bunch of kids together, like Kayla's beach house has so much separation. Yeah, so many floors, yeah. so many different areas. Yeah, you but can, we were yeah. all like really in the same space. And it was so fun. It was so easy. That's because, when how you parent, though, comes in so much more. Yes. It, like, it's like, do you both yeah. parent kind of the same way? Like, yeah. The kids go to bed at the same time, or can they yeah. stay up as late as they want? And, like, how early do they get up? And do you feed them what you're eating? Or well, do you, you make know what separate it is, meals? is that like, they're as chill as we are. Yes, that's great. So you that's guys amazing. know, like, mm-hmm. I'm probably, of the three of us, the most laid back about, like, Food, sleep, like uh, maybe not. No, maybe about I certain think I'm things. like super laid back about that stuff. Like my kids don't have a bedtime; they don't have a wake time, Hi, even I'm on school uptight. day. Well, that's <laughs> and then I'm very true. like middle of the road on food. Like my kids eat half organic, yeah. half processed. I guess I, I just feel I like kind of, you have you a and more... I actually are very similar in both of those things. I totally yeah. agree. Yeah. I just feel like you are a lip. You are more like I have an idea of how I th- want things to go. Oh, for a vacation? Yes. Yeah, that's true. And you I guys yeah. are more go with the flow. Yeah. Like at yes. ten o'clock at night, let's go get ice cream. That's like, right. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Yeah. So I just mean like yeah. they're as laid back mm-hmm. as we are, where we're like, yeah, yeah we'll just see what happens. Where yep. uh, you know they they they're just very similar. We had the best yeah. time. And I was thinking, wow, it really is interesting because you have to just have certain compatibilities. Yeah. To I go think that together. I feel like our vacation together was super successful. Yeah. Because one, we all know each other so well mm-hmm. and have such a deep love for each other that yeah. even though we parent differently, it's like we're family. And so it's like, oh, they do that, they do that, they do that. So there was no stepping on toes. There was no like any Yeah. It's it's interesting to see like what was cool about your house is that there's pool. Yeah. And the beach. And you can also, like, golf cart or walk to things, right? So, like, my family, we are not eight hours at the beach people. Like, we never would be. Our, all the kids are pretty too fair-skinned. I, Ava's on... I feel like we were all, like, yeah. two-hour max. Yeah. Like, yeah. And that's what I love. Perfect. Yeah. Ava's on medication. She cannot be in the sun like that. So, for us, it's like, okay, let's do the water thing, and then let's go yeah. get food, and then let's come back and, like chill at the house and yeah i love that like kind of mix of all of it oh i oh, learned you guys are way more mm. foodies than i am oh yeah we're like foodies. it is the funniest thing i like to cook the really you good love food. to cook I love to you go guys out. love to go out yep. and ty and i just don't want that much food around yeah we're like we just want to eat our faces off like, like in one moments, time. one meal a day like one yes. meal. Yeah. you want to eat yeah. your face i'll off. have my protein in the bar yep. in the morning yep. yeah and then i don't need like pancakes in the morning yeah, we're not pizza for people. lunch and then yeah but you we it was like meals. full on yeah. food all the time we'll, we'll do like yogurt say, or oatmeal for the kids and adrian will do a protein shake and i don't eat breakfast yeah. so i we're, host we're and so for yeah. me i'm like i want to oh, feed i want to feed everybody because what's funny it's if you were just at our house on a normal like weekday 
I never have fresh bread made. Like, I don't ever make it for us. But, yeah. like, yeah. if I'm hosting, I was hosting a house of 20 people. Yeah. And, like, I'm going to make you fresh flatbreads. I want to feed your children. I'm going to do gonna this. It's going to be a good charcuterie. Great it was host. so good. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. I love, so it's more I like ate the 18 hosting. pounds of that bread. Well, I you didn't have did. to. I, no, yeah. it was not good. <laughs> <laughs> I did because I wanted good. to. It was, yeah. you. I couldn't stop eating it. There I was love butter bread. and this bread, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Kayla. I just love oh, any so kind so of, like, good. yeasty bread. Like, oh, <laughs> I know it sounds gross. Oh, it's so. I love it. That's the only time yeasty is a good thing. Yeah. Yeasty. <laughs> the other vacations yeasty that. Bread. We've done it. To, we've done Dollywood together. Yeah, like that Dollywood, Dollywood is so fun. And Splash Wait, Country. Wait, I've done only ever that. been with a family, but not my family. And then y'all. Have and you done Splash Country? No. So no. I, it okay. We so, should go to Splash yeah, Country. It is so fun. So we did both last year. Yeah. My family did both, fun. and my dad came with us. Oh, see, that so would be helpful. perfect, because so he just fun. held Teddy's hand, and they did the little splash pads, mm-hmm. oh, and so he didn't want to awesome. go on a bunch of water slides and roller coasters anyway. Yeah. yeah. So it was perfect, because... Yeah, that would be fun. I want to yeah. do that. But Splash Country, it's so clean. Mm-hmm. The yeah. other thing about Splash Country is that yep. I felt like the kids were so safe, because you know, guys mm-hmm. know how much anxiety I have with kids around water. Yeah. yeah. There were lifeguards just... Absolutely everywhere. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Um, so I just felt really relaxed. It was really fun. There were great areas for the little kids. And then I didn't really do many of the, like, bigger things. Yeah. But it's just so idyllic there. Like, the dream more and being yeah. able to go. We stayed, I we stayed at the cabin. Start, I want to stay at Heart Song. The new, oh, the oh, new, yeah. the new yeah. resort. By the way, have y'all ever taken your kids, speaking of water parks, have you ever taken your kids to Great Wolf Lodge? Yes. And I love it. That's another I great love any it. time of the year. Mm-hmm. We did any that time Christmas year, one time. Yeah. This, yeah. Oh, any time oh. of the year. They indoors. do story hour. We did so Dollywood cute. at Christmas mm-hmm. and it's magical. It's yeah. unbelievable. We want to go next year. It's yeah. unbelievable. And I'm completely with you. They do the holidays you. really well. On wanting to do international travel with my mm-hmm. kids. Because I was doing that when I was a teenager and yeah. I feel like it changed me. In so many ways. And I would love for them to see like London, Paris, all that, but also Africa. You know, I spent time yeah. in Kenya and just seeing a lot of things and, and, yeah. and experiencing the world. And I've been trying to figure out at what age, you know, I did it when I was a little bit older. Yeah. And I don't think the little ones would quite be able to appreciate it the way that Radley is getting to a point. Yeah. yeah. I went to Israel, is that four years ago? Yeah. And we went to... Yad Vashem, which is the biggest Holocaust museum in the world. Oh, wow. yeah. And Israel trip was life changing. And yeah. I, I want to take John and Loxley back. But it is really important for me, just the history mm-hmm. and the propaganda that happened to let the Holocaust happen. Yeah. I just feel like that is such an important thing. I, I would love to take them back there because I'm such, I love history. I love mm-hmm. learning things. And so I think part of a really cool vacation for me is something that like, has a little bit of spiritual healing and learning as part of it. So I that is a huge bucket list for family. I want to go to Egypt. I've always wanted to see the pyramids. That's been something my amazing. entire life I've you wanted to You went to, to Egypt? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, I want to go to Egypt. Yeah, I've also amazing. never been to Italy. The only place I go to Italy. I've ever been is London and like all around, right, Great Britain. But I, I spent my childhood like going to Canada a lot and I probably went on 15 – cruises like southern caribbean yeah. eastern caribbean western caribbean through the panama canal from the time i was sixth grade till you know i was a senior in high school and those experiences were really cool too i've like never been on a cruise really i have no desire well, it's to. not the it's a mate it's an incredible vacation with kids because you unpack once and you see a lot are you safe like do you feel safe on a boat oh, like incredibly safe Okay. Yeah. I haven't been since I, I haven't been yeah. on a cruise since having kids except for the Queen Mary. We that. went oh yeah. Okay, what's we a bucket with, list trip for you right now then? With kids or without? They're very different. Okay, both. With kids and without. Without kids is the Maldives. Yes. Um, and, and Egypt, obviously. Yes. But the Maldives is like a di- I don't know, it's a crazy trip. It's so like 36 hours to get there. It's very different, yeah, uh, than Egypt. And then I also want to do a Mediterranean cruise. I want to do that like sort of Greece, Turkey, fun. you know, yeah, Italy. Yeah, yeah. Um and then with kids Gosh, we've done a lot with our kids. I would say the one trip we keep talking about doing that we haven't done is an RV sort of <laughs> all across the country down the California coast and back. Why? Where is that thing? I like I'm just smiling. I love the RV idea. <laughs> oh, oh, I know. We've been talking about that probably since we lived in Maryland. Like because we used to have people, you know, through Dad or Alive say, you know, do you want to do yeah. this trip, this trip, this trip? We've always wanted to do like Yellowstone, Yosemite, and back to California and across. And my parents did um, Custer State Park. Yeah. And like the running of the um, 
Is it bulls? Yeah. No, it's not Wait. bulls. It's buffalo. Buffalo. Oh, okay. Like yeah. the the herds, right? Yeah. And just said it was incredible. So we've we've always kind of wanted to see everybody up and down the eastern seaboard across the top of the country down. So that's a bucket list trip for the kids. And we keep saying we're going to do it. Our friends Lucy and Tom are doing yeah. it in a couple weeks. They'll are they doing it? For five they, weeks, yeah. That's amazing. And so uh, I don't know if that sounds fun to me at all. Yeah. That I, sounds amazing. It sounds, because you don't, one of our, one of the best trips we ever did with our kids was when we moved from LA to Maryland and we drove and we yeah. spent, you know, a week and a half seeing everything we wanted to see, eating everything yeah, we wanted to eat. Yeah. It was, because the, the hardest thing about that was we had the dog. Yeah. And that was, that made it a little more difficult because we couldn't stay anywhere. Yeah. We couldn't leave him in the car alone. So we had to really like manage that. So but, when we were mm -hmm. in Florida, we had an entire plan that we were going to buy an RV oh, yeah. and take this yeah. next year and, and live in an RV and do all the parks while Loxley's little. Mm -hmm. And honestly, now that Olive and Ark is opening a second location and um, possibly a third and a fourth, yeah. um, we're like, how are we going to make this happen? And yeah. And so I, I feel like I'm kind of being like pulled back to stay, but I I love I was smiling because I'm like I want to oh, do that so I know. much because that's something that's on our radar so hard right now. You know what's fun when you do a cross country trip in a car, like at least for us, it's like no, we want to buy a fifth right, wheel, we want to get right. a dually to pull it. Like yes. <laughs> so, see the thing for us is like we'll stop at the Grand Canyon, then we went to White Sands, and it's like so we did things that we would probably never as a family fly to the Grand Canyon. We would probably never as a family fly to like, right. you know, yeah. the, cl the cliff dwellings. We would never fly to, you know, the petrified forest. But being able yeah. to take our kids to those things and let them experience it was awesome. So I, the road trip, I'm just a fan. Do you and know? The I, RVs I love. I so. love, I love the show Yellowstone. I love the spinoff series even, mm -hmm. even more. But I have been saying for years before Yellowstone even came out that I really want to go and do like a Yellowstone, oh yeah, a like glamping trip, and where nice. we can go fishing and whitewater rafting and um, go horseback riding and and yeah, do all those like because for me like what's more beautiful than like sunsets on the beach yeah. are just like open wide like country skies, yeah. and so that is that I feel is like something else there, right? I, feel like I fall in love with Montana or yeah. like the Dakotas or even what about you? Idaho for my like bucket list, yeah. Things. Um, Bucket well, list couples trip. Yeah. So I would love to go back to Barcelona. Mm -hmm. Ty and I went there when I had just found yeah. out that I was pregnant and then I had a miscarriage yeah. shortly thereafter. But you and thought you didn't know you had a miscarriage when you were know. in Barcelona. Yeah. No, I was like seven or eight weeks along. Yeah. And so I found out days before we left. So I didn't have a single sangria, glass of wine, yeah. nothing. Uh, you didn't um, get any of the cured meats. Yeah. Or just, yeah. yeah I was yeah. finding everything. And then, you know, coming home from that, it was just a really, like, sad, bummer mm. time. And I would love to go back and experience that country and the way I would it. love to. Yeah. yeah. The way I want to. And I've never been to Ireland, and I have Irish oh, heritage. Yeah. There are a lot of places I would still love to go. For family, I would, Ty and mm. I love to go to Europe. I'd love to go... Um, I would love to go back. I love going to London. I'd love to go London back to Paris. So There's nice. so many places I would love to go back to. New places I'd love to experience. And I do want to do like Africa and some some trips like that when the kids are a little bit older. But one thing I would also like to do, um, you know, we we kind of have our winter stuff locked in now because yeah. Ty just loves snowboarding. Yeah. Yeah. So he would go every month if he could. Yeah. And then I would love to do like an all inclusive beach resort. And I'm Ooh. not a big beach person, but Ty and I went to the beaches resort in Turks and Caicos oh, uh, when we were starting to talk about having more kids. And I remember thinking, this is so awesome because in the way that when you go to Breck, you drop the kids for ski school, they have programs for the kids once they're yeah. two or something that you can drop them. And they do fun stuff during the day. And Ty and I could go like parasailing, scuba diving, mm -hmm. because we are oh, very be much fun. like You would go scuba diving? Yep. Oh, I'm a certified scuba diver. <gasps> oh, I've gone diving with sharks. I can't. I've done I've shipwrecks. The ocean is like my non-negotiable. You could not pay it's me so peaceful. to get under the no. water that deep. Oh, it's me so much. Here's what I don't I get. I couldn't breathe. You, you, that's why, that's why you have a tank. Yeah, and no, that freaks it's me mental, out. I can't, yeah. I cannot. But here's the thing. You feel, I personally feel mm. so much safer underwater because I can see everything. See, Doesn't I, like really, gonna come up and I bite feel, my unless I'm on the bottom of the ocean, I feel like with snorkeling, I can see everything around me. The only place I can't see is directly behind me. So I guess it's like when you're on the bottom, da, da, if you could da, turn around. Because I've done a little bit of that, but not like, I'm terrified Well, I would probably do a, a brush up course because it's been a while. Terrified. But I got certified when I was doing the TV show when I was like, a, I would guess I was like 
late teens, early twenties. That's 20s. amazing. Yeah, yeah that's and so awesome. and and then sometimes they would just throw me in the water. So we were like in Aruba, and they're like, "Do you have any gear that would fit Corey?" So I'm like two big fins, and I was swimming through like a crashed plane underwater. That's fun. And just all kinds of crazy stuff. So I even got certified to dive like deeper than like down to 120 feet. And oh my gosh, yeah. did you Super ever fun. feel like pressure on your chest? Like, well, you when you were when you become certified, you have to do things like go down to the bottom and take out, you know, like. You, you, you yeah, learn to navigate. Your, yeah. I have asthma so bad. So like the fear so of, of that. It, yeah. yeah, that you do have to fun. stay calm. Like you need yeah. to stay calm, but it is so peaceful and beautiful. I've done I, it in a I swimming can imagine. pool. Yeah. You know, it's, like the training. No I've done fun. that, but I cannot, I can't even imagine doing it. But that's, I would want to do that not for laying on the beach because mm-hmm. I care zero. I'm very fair. I, I have to go for my annual like skin checks because <laughs> I have that kind of skin. So I hide from the sun, but like yeah. Ty and I have gone like swimming with dolphins. I love, we would just be adventuring that is all, fun. we would we would basically yeah. drop the kids off, go to breakfast, it's all inclusive, go do something adventurous. Yeah. It and- is fun because every, every one of those resorts and cruise ships, like when you get off a ship or when you stay at a resort like that, they all have catamaran trips here. You can swim with the stingrays. Oh, you can, I mean, that's. That is There's this amazing. Other thing I want to tell you guys because this is something on my list. I'm trying to remember. Oh, Tyler Place Family Resort. It's this place I was looking for my most epic family vacation. Mm. Yeah. And this is just something I have read about. I I don't have any yeah. reviews from you anyone. Just go. So it's a place in Vermont and the from what I gather it's kind of like summer camp for the whole family. Oh fun. So they you have to <gasps> like uh, dirty dancing. Yes, that would that's be exactly what like like And they only let you. You book. know that lake that you can go to that lake. We'll talk about that later. So you can. You, they want you to book. I think at the beginning and end of the season you can book shorter, but they want you to book a whole week so you have the full experience. And the way that it works is they. It's all dependent on how many kids and so, mm-hmm. but it's all inclusive. Mm-hmm. And so they have mornings and evenings. You have childcare, so the afternoons are like family hang time, nap time. Oh, fun! But then in the morning, you can send the kids off, and there's like adventures for parents, adventures mm-hmm. for kids. So it's like everything fun you could think to do. Oh, they have fun. it in really place. Fun. And then in the evening, the the kids have care again, so that you can go out for cocktails, you can see music, and so it's kind of structured. I would like differently. That. that is fun because what happens with us is sometimes you pick up the kids at three or four o'clock when childcare ends, and then you're like. Now I want to sit here so we can just go to dinner and yeah. relax. But my biggest thing I think that I've learned with travel is that I want to go somewhere that there is something to do mm-hmm. that the kids enjoy, even if that means it's the room. So like um, it, when we stayed at the Swiss Hotel in Chicago, mm-hmm. you oh, yeah. can get a kids suite. That's another. Oh my yeah, gosh, that's a whole the other kids thing. suite is huge. And they do a phone call with you ahead of time, and they ask you how old your kids there are, their names, what they're yeah. into, and when you go to the room, it is filled with like a tent and toys and a crib and a diaper genie and a room just for the kids and a room just that's for you guys. That's amazing. I love kids it's, suites at hotels. They that's the smartest even thing. Even at Dollywood ever. having the bunks. Yeah. We did we got the king suite with the like double so bunk. the double yeah. bunk. Well, every room has the double bunk, but we got the room that ha- it was a separate room. Oh, mm-hmm. nice. And so oh, it was cool. it was really nice to have Loxley like on one side and then there was no door shut so it was just like a bathroom in between us and a hallway but that's to me like with the all with the the family vacation thing to me is like all inclusive is so nice something that everyone wants to do that's Mm -hmm. fun for everyone and then somewhere that you can have a little bit of help well you know what's interesting that you guys might like we've taken the kids to Massanutten Wisp and the Poconos and we've done skiing and the indoor water park at all three of those Ooh, resorts. that sounds fun. Yeah, so you get, it's like the best of both worlds because you can go skiing, you can put them in, in ski school. <laughs> the, the tree in your hair? Yeah. Yeah. It's in my way. And then you can like take a day, <laughs> Yeah. indoor water park it, and I really think Great Wolf Lodge did such a good job of, you know, franchising that out that other water parks have taken notice and, I mean, it's amazing. It's like story time in the lobby and like cookies in your room and all of that. The, it's really the, fun. The thing I would add to that, and yeah. I don't know Is if you child guys- care? Well, yeah, of yeah. some kind, whether that's that you mm-hmm. take a grandparent mm-hmm. or you go with another couple. And My parents you know, took a babysitter a couple times. Yeah. I went as a yeah. nanny on a couple trips when I was in college. Well, and, people that have full-time yeah. nannies can obviously take their nanny. Mm-hmm. We've used Care.com to vet people ahead of time. and But my favorite, favorite, favorite is when wherever you're going offers some kind of a child care yeah. where yeah. you're not having to go through as much work ahead of time. Yeah. So that's always what I'm looking for for a family yeah. vacay because it almost doesn't feel like a – 
a vacay at all if I don't have a night to go on a date right, with my husband. At least one. And that's yeah. honestly, that's the biggest thing I like about cruises is letting the kids can go kids camp. They have fun. They're doing yeah. their thing. If it's Disney or if it's, you know, Royal Caribbean, they do like a DreamWorks cruise. Mm-hmm. So it's like you're with Shrek and like they love... And the ships feel like floating palaces. You have no idea you're on a ship. There's have you guys both a million done Disney? things to do. We've never done a Disney cruise. But have They're you done like Disney with expensive. family? We've done yeah. Disneyland with Radley. Yeah. Okay. But the little ones have never been. We've done Disneyland and Disney World. Yeah. And then Legoland with our older two. And I think Mason went to Legoland, but we haven't been with Evie. She's going to have to go this next year without a doubt. Yeah. My family goes in December, every December, first week of December. And we don't generally go. Because it's always been such a hike for us. Yeah. And then we moved here and it's not a hike and COVID happened. So yeah. we didn't go. But maybe this year we'll take her. She's in princess phase anyway. So. What is What about for you? What's been the most relaxing slash fun with the family? Because that's a hard balance to find. Uh, when well, you're with your kids 24-7 and they're out of their routine and their element, it can end up being like, I know I'm going to love this memory in hindsight and we're going to have these cute pictures, but I'm tired. I mean, I really think like in a previous life I must have drowned because... I love cruising. At this point in my life, I've been on 22 or 23 cruises. Oh, but, wow. That's but, a lot. And some of them have been two week long, like repositioning <gasps> cruises or cruises through like the Panama Canal. It, unreal. But I also have an intense fear of falling overboard. And it's really not realistic. Like it's just not realistic. But I'm terrified. There's so many cruises every day. And you hear about I mean, so few stories. That's the weird thing is there's so much to worry about when you travel. And then there's also stuff to worry about when you leave your kids behind to yeah, travel. so true. Yeah. So it is that weird balance of trying to let go enough to enjoy. It, it mm-hmm. takes me a solid 48 hours away from my kids to start relaxing. But I don't love being away from my kids for yeah. very long. So you're like, I know. how do you hit that sweet spot? You guys know my mom on the way home from Atlanta on Sunday called and said, we want to take all the kids. For a week. July 10th, we'll take them the whole week. And we're like, what's a catch? (laughs) You're taking my kids for a week? Okay. So, yeah. So, we should find out. So, that is going to be my. That's that's going to be my biggest thing. It's going to be like Camp Bob and Elaine. And they do each. They have like the kids have gone down for like a week at a time each over the summer. Mm -hmm. But this is going to be all four kids all at once. From like the 10th until they come up for Charlie's birthday. It's going to be crazy. Can I say that. that. I honestly, I'm a homebody and I love being home. I love it. And this like never happens, but I love it when John and I are just kind of outside doing stuff around the yard and Mm -hmm. just like relaxing. I feel like we have a really relaxing backyard and something that would just be like kind of amazing is for us to have, cause it's stressful with dogs. It's stressful with like nap time schedules. It's like, I, there's a part of me that would almost rather get a house cleaner and get all like get my favorite foods mm-hmm. and just like everything and have like a little like four day staycation yeah. where we just stay at home and we can like hang out outside like have all of our routine things but almost go unplugged for like four mm-hmm. days like where there's just like no phone no emails no anything yeah. other like I have a hard time doing that at home. I do too. Oh, you know, I have to move somewhere else. Me too. Yeah. We have That's dogs. Unreal. And so vacations are stressful with yeah. finding dog sitters and then mm. cat sitters. And my cats poop in my house when we leave. So mm. it's like. This is why we don't have a pet. I know. You don't yeah. like cat poop? Um, I like cats. I don't particularly like anyone's poop. My right? cats I'm vomited so on my sorry. laptop yesterday <laughs> and then peed in a basket of freshly clean laundry. Oh, so. see, this is, these are the reasons. Yeah. My sister's fostering this precious Dog. And don't Ty's do allergic it. to cats, so, right? Ty's you guys well, don't do cats. I'm having I mean, an allergy maybe. reaction having an allergy. so bad. So I could Okay, but I do uh, love that idea because uh, I am also curious about what you plan to do this summer just for self-care. Yeah. I, I want I want to do a staycation with Jonathan where yeah, even if it's off. just a Friday through a Sunday where we just turn our phones off yeah. and yeah. Make really good meals. Put Loxley to bed early. Watch. Mm-hmm. Like, but we haven't binged watched a show. Not that, like, you have to do that. But we love playing board games. We love, like, and I just feel like we never set the time to do it. So, and, like, instead of spending money at a hotel or doing things, mm-hmm. I'd rather just, like, 
pay for a cleaner to come in and do my house. like So that you can relax. So that I can relax, have all yeah. my laundry done, and just have my house in a perfect That's actually tip-top a great idea. shape. If you, and if, then if you relax. don't have those things to do at home, then totally. maybe I could relax. I agree with that. That's, that's what I'm saying. You have to take... You have to spend the like, here, do my laundry, change the beds, the prep do work. all the prep work do so that you can like, come work. home and yeah. be like, ah, I'm home. I would like to yeah. come home and just have everything done and be able to just be in loungy clothes yeah. and yeah. and just hang out at my house. Like yeah. that's That to me... Sounds like a dream where I don't have to prep my kid and make sure I didn't forget something and I have the right snacks and then my... Because we love going on dog walks and all that. Like, that to me sounds so much fun. I love the putting phones away because what really happens with Ty and I is we get into work mode. Like, he's doing emails or social media stuff on his phone and then I'm working on something... We have a really hard time just shutting everything off. Yeah, well, we do But too. I love the idea of game. We love game nights. And we haven't done a game night. Yeah. I can't can we, tell you. Oh, my gosh. Can right. we do family game really nights? We fun. used like, to do that. We, we haven't used done to that do since. game night. You can make us pizzas I, again. Let's, we'll do do game night. let's do pizza we'll game night. We'll do it night. whenever. We used to play Settlers of Catan. And there was something I else. I love Settlers of Catan. Yeah. I remember we used to play that in Maryland. Oh, that was with us. Yeah. Your house would play games. That's so funny. Yeah. I mean, we have our house is not an entertaining house. So we've gotten out of entertaining. But you can to my love, house. Yeah. We I'll live three miles away. I love the that. The other thing we could do, do is it. come here and leave Ava with the kids in one house Hell and have yeah. a game night in the That's other one. That's a great one. idea. That would yeah. be so Because then they'd fun. be right there. We could oh my put gosh. the little ones... Like, we could put the little ones down, and we could come over you here know, and take this You know, that's house over. the beauty Let's of us it. going on a break and, yes, like, can do that. being able to kind of put energy into that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. you yeah. know? And I'm looking forward I think, to summer for that. Yeah, and I think things that, like, people don't realize, it's, like, it's a really big deal for us to put our phones away because when you have any type of of job that relies on relies social, on social media. media content is king and people want to know what you're doing they want to know it might seem silly if you're like posting a selfie at a grocery store with a box of cereal or something but you know that might be an income for a week because mm-hmm. and people don't always like see that like oh why is she posting about that stroller maybe that's my income that week yep. it's like i have to do a campaign or mm-hmm. you know so, like maybe we're posting about beef sticks one week who knows um <laughs> But but I I would be willing to bet that we would have the creative capacity to do more fun stuff on socials when we're taking a break. Yeah, when we're taking a break, That'll just like awesome. Easter when y'all came over yeah. for Easter, and I was yeah. like, can we throw they eggs at each us other? With eggs. Yeah, they did not break. Okay, they did not. break. They broke on Adrian's shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Brand new shoes. <laughs> oh my god, the only one that so funny. So, <laughs> I love a game night. Though. I'm yeah. excited. So I really am excited to take a break with you guys. Though. Yeah, and yeah, just yeah. yeah. Not that we've never not been friends, but just be friends and not Mm -hmm. so much like, oh, we got to do this. We got to do this. Well, where a lot of conversations we have have to be about work. But Mm -hmm. in the same breath, I do want to just thank everybody who has been listening and telling their friends to listen and reaching out to us (coughs) on socials. You have no idea what it means to us to get messages like, oh, my gosh, I just found you guys. And now, like, I feel like I'm hanging out with my friends when I listen Mm -hmm. to you. Like, that kind of stuff just... It just fills my soul yeah. because it's the whole reason we started this, so that we could have community and, and, and have all these different ideas about things yeah. and opinions and just ha- find that common thread. But the little bit of, to me, like the little bit of it that is so heartwarming is the moment where people feel seen, even though we don't know who they are and, you know, yeah. they don't really know us. It's like we talk about bullying and they've like taken that into their lives and their kids have changed or you're, you talking about, you know, your adoption scam. And I actually just talked dozens to dozens of people respond. One of them. I just talked to one of the moms today that was also in the scam ring of this individual. And she straight up said, she goes, you have a platform that a lot of us don't. Yeah. And you being able to share this shines a light where we can. Mm-hmm. She's like, you have to be our voice. And it was yeah. really refreshing to know that. And the same thing with infertility or Charlie being on Ritalin mm-hmm. and just everything that we're going through. It's a lot of weight sometimes, though, for yeah. us to be that voice. Because I don't. there's some stuff that we don't always necessarily need to share for ourselves. But mm-hmm. we do do it because of this amazing community. But And I yeah. feel like I have changed as a parent because of the the parents that we've talked to and the people that we've heard from it almost makes me feel like we've talked about this with guests before how it shifts your perspective so yeah much to be so in touch with other people's stories other people's struggles mm-hmm. other people's wins oh, yeah. all of that stuff I feel like this community has made me a better parent because I just had mm-hmm. a bigger understanding of of what it's just like our yeah. wanting to take our kids to other countries so that yeah. they can experience things. Yes. I feel like my eyes have been open in so many ways 
and that it has changed me yes. as a parent. And it's also made me feel better so many times for the stuff that I don't feel great about, you know, yeah. that I feel guilty about or that I feel like I'm just not doing a good enough job or I'm questioning. I mean, from you guys mm-hmm. sitting here and just making me feel more empowered or relieved as a parent to people that have DM'd us or people that have yeah. shared their own thing. I don't know. I just, it's it's just such a crazy thing for, for something to be a lot of work but so fulfilling at the same time. Yeah. It's really crazy. It sounds like we're just like ending the show forever. I was just saying, it sounds like we're, we're ending not. the show. We're not. We're just taking a little break. And we always moment. take breaks. We just never yeah. tee them up like this. Like, yeah. usually we're, we're just we like, take okay. a break and we go straight into pre-production. Yeah. Usually what we we're don't doing, even announce it because we're we not yeah. prepared enough. What we're doing yeah. is we're like taking at least a month off and then I guarantee you we'll start talking about yeah. season five and how we approach it and everything we just need still, to like charge our a batteries a little a bit yeah. what are yeah. you gonna do for like just for yourself over the next couple months for myself yeah well i'm about to have four kids under the age of 13 home all day every day you're not putting them in camps or anything nope Mm-mm. but they do go to vbs i mean here's the problem whatever like, i'm gonna see her twice a week at olive and yeah. with Evie. <laughs> here's the problem here's where i am in life is that you know ava has cheer up until yeah. dead weeks, which are the last week of June, first week of July. So Ava has, she's full-blown cheer. My kids are on swim team through June. And then in July starts football. So sports dominate. I mean, as any parent knows, oh. especially in like middle school, sports dominate the summer. So yeah. there's not yeah. a lot of room for that stuff. But I um, I don't know. I'm excited to have a week with our kids. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Right. And as I say that, I'm realizing Ava has to stay home because she has cheer camp that week. <laughs> It's mandatory. <laughs> but whatever. I having my 13, almost 14 year old home is a far cry different than all all four kids. But so yeah. Yeah. That's I'm looking I, forward to having well, the little ones go to year round Montessori school and then so they don't have that much time off. Yeah. Um, so it'll be kind of business as usual with them. But then Radley has probably half a dozen camps he's going to because we realized that he goes stir crazy if he doesn't Mm. have enough to do yeah and he ends up on a screen too much and Mm. that's just not good for him so he's doing like soccer camp adventure science center camp Um, he's doing like he's doing like legit camp camp where there's like sleep away no he's not he's not ready yeah i don't think he's emotionally ready for sleepaway camp i asked him about it but he's not quite ready to do that but i'm really looking forward to the handful of weeks where he doesn't have anything yeah, because it's fun with him being older. I don't necessarily get to just focus on him as much, yeah. but he's really on the cusp of like a lot of maturity, but he's still a little kid. Yeah. And so I'm really looking forward to, I don't know, randomly taking him to a movie during the day and yeah. me taking a break from the podcast means that it just lowers my workload. So I still have all my other work. Yep. Yeah. But I feel like Because you're an award winning to... voiceover artist. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like I'll be able to block out more real time yeah. to take him to do things, even if that's just he wants to go swimming at the Y well, or something. He should just come to our pools. Yeah, we can There's come out and just them. swim with so, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we do that most days. We're yeah. at the pool or we go to the lake. The yeah. cedar with It's a beach lake, so I... it's easy. I'm looking forward to Loxley's old enough now that John and I love paddle boarding. We're big water people. We get boats, you know, multiple mm-hmm. times in the summer. And so I'm looking forward to the now that she's old enough that I can put her on my board with me. Oh, with like yeah. a life jacket. Because last year she was still too little for lake. Lakes, yeah. you know, are the most dangerous uh, types of water. And yeah. so this year she's big enough to be really secure in a life jacket. Mm-hmm. And, and she's been in swim for a solid year. So we're excited about doing paddle boarding with her. Being on the board with us. Aww. The main I thing that. I would love to hear from anyone listening is the family vacations they would recommend. Because yes. I need to keep I need to keep a running list of where you want to go. Of where I want to go because I am bad about planning ahead. And so I mean, really, I am committed to planning a Breckenridge trip mm. trip for next season yeah. within the next few weeks. Like I I really want to do that because I mean, we'll have so many more options in terms of where we want to yeah. stay and all of that kind of stuff. Like, I'd love to stay at one of the Breck resorts, but everything was already booked yeah. last oh. year by the time we looked at that. But I want to have a list so that I can start being better about booking ahead. I mean, if we wanted to go out to Disney and go to Alani or something, I would mm-hmm. need to plan that so far ahead yeah. to for everyone to take the work and school days off yep. and all of that and plan better at spring break when Radley's not going to have a bunch of absences. <laughs> oh, I, I would love to hear... What are those family vacations that tick the most boxes that have, you know, a great space for the parents to have a great time and a great space to kind of like 
the kids have fun. It kind of wears them out. Maybe there's a little child care. What are those vacations yeah. that we need to be putting on our lists to go and try? Because yeah. they just, they. And they, if you have a space or an Airbnb that you would like us to check out and like. If review, it can fit. Yeah. <laughs> eight, what is it? 14? Oh, 14? We should, well, we should share this list yeah. too. Yeah. So we can make a. We'll share we a list. We should make a mm-hmm. list of the things we've talked about. And then people should message us. Yeah. With. Their ideas, or if it's their spot, yeah, we do like we Corey's favorites, Jen's yeah. favorites, like yeah, places absolutely. we've gone. And you know what we should do is we should put on our highlights, like mm-hmm. best family vacays. Put it on our yes. highlights because we already have, I think, Dollywood and stuff on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then we can kind of like add to that. Yeah. And then when we go and experience those yeah. places, we can share our experience really and just keep growing this little database of That's family vacations. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. this was fun. Yay! Now we're like, you know, what's funny? It's like we're probably gonna hang out more. Yeah. Summer. <laughs> it's well, so weird because Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say we're not drinking wine, but I almost feel like we need we needed champagne or something. I know. But uh, instead we'll do like like orange. We have spindrift oh, and carrot, carrot juice. juice. Yeah. You was... guys, Tennessee allergies. I'm a, I know I'm a mess. Yeah. Can I just say, you know why you probably feel like we don't see each other as much? You're working every day. You're right. So you we don't talk much. Yes, I would swing by your house randomly at eight o'clock in the why? morning at four days a week. I just gave and we used to talk on the phone like Three well, mornings a yep. week. Yeah. And now you're, yep. uh, you can't talk during the day. I know. It's so sad. It's okay. I, it's all I was a little, busy working mom trying to find a child care solution and then I gave myself a full time job. A full time job. <laughs> a full time job with a child yeah, care solution. Yeah, but I will right, say, right. I will like, say that the moms that I'm meeting at Olive and Arc and just being able to fill that need for them, yeah. it's been amazing. Yeah. So we're going to wrap this. Yeah, we're wrapping yes. up. We're not going to roll Ugh. a season or a block. And, and it, we're like 50, we talked about like 55 minutes. Good That's Lord. crazy. I'm like, but in mm. this time, we'll still be on socials and stuff. And please message us with things you want us to talk about, guests you think it would be fun to have on. Because yeah. yeah. this is the time period idea. when we really start, like, well, after, like we we're, say, we're, we're taking a break, but we're definitely we will taking be a break. But that we're taking a break. We have a running list of topics and guests we want to have. I might just go rogue in. on our Instagram and just post the most random yes, stuff. Yes, I'm gonna start posting memes. That. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, we love you guys. Um, oh, I didn't mean to oh hit you. She I meant to do her in the eye. I'm so sorry. It didn't hurt at all. I'm so sorry. It's okay. That's fine. I got okay. My nose on you. All right. We got weird. We've pretty much gotten weird now. So <laughs> see you guys in a month. Bye. Or two. Or, two. <laughs> or four. The Hi, My Name is Mom Studio is brought to you by the Yard Sale Store. Check them out at yardsalestore.com and on socials at Yard Sale USA.